Okay, guys, this is M. Kwan. I'm here with uh, Carl from the Nokia app blog. So he's going to give you a quick review of what he thinks of the OS based on his previous experiences, because obviously mine is limited. We're going to try and keep it short, about three, four minutes. So, Carl, it's all over to you. All right. Hi, guys. Uh, it's Carl. Um, what we're going to look at today is, well, I'm going to compare it to my 5800. Uh, if we take the 97 back to its folded up state, we can see that there's no widgets on the screen. This is something that's demanded by a lot of 5800 users, and this is something I'm going to try and get out of the Nokia Star files to me. But they're, they're saying it's a rumour, but we'll be going upstairs soon and we'll see what they say. Um, as you can see, there's nothing on the screen. Then. Oh, fair enough. Go back. Right. As you can see, we swipe it all in. And you can see some widgets on the home screen. This is something that we'd all love. Uh, you can see some widgets up there. Uh, you've got Facebook. Obviously, contacts go down there as a blank one. AccuWeather, and it's all in the corner. Let's rotate it. These are there. active widgets, right? Yeah, they're, act they're sort of live. They should. They yeah, they are. Once you sign into Facebook, latest status. Uh, the latest status should it's come up. There's, there. Yeah, there's the Facebook application. I'm not going to log in now, but. Um, this application has connected scrolling, so when you when you flick it, you can scroll up and down very quickly. Uh, let's have a look. The N97 itself doesn't have connected scrolling, so only stuff like the Facebook application um, and the web browsing, which let's go. Oh, should know. Go back. Yeah, I was trying this earlier on, and it seems like it's offline, so yeah, yeah. You can't get it. Uh, let's have a look at some of the. Applications. Oh. The other thing some of the blog users were interested about was how how is the, U, the UI compared to previous OSs? How, what do you think about that? Uh, it's, it's, oh, it's brilliant. It's, it, when you compare it to the likes like, of the iPhone, it's, it's way up there. Okay. Um, when we when we're looking at the the gaming side of it, for example, then we won't go um, into depth about that, but. <laughs> That's politically. Yeah, that, that just sum, that just sums up uh, the reasoning behind that. But but in terms of compared to other Nokia's, oh, um, do you find yeah, the OS is yeah. different, or is it sort of better? Or? I don't see much. If we look at the 5800, um, I don't see much difference in. Maybe the, yeah, the response is the response. This seems very like more responsive than the 5800. Um, everything seems to. I know, it's obviously we can't go on there at the minute, but... But it seems to be a bit more snappier then. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, this this seems more responsive. I don't know whether they'll improve it on the 5800 in uh, next firmware updates, but as you can see, it comes preloaded. I don't know whether this is going to be in the retail packaging, but we've got Boingo, Kick, Spore, Brain, Brain Challenge, I believe that is, Slideshow, and, you know, and, and the iPlayer as well, which yeah, the iPhone. complained about, which is good mm. that you know, the iPlayer yeah. is going to be on the Nokia handset as well. Definitely, it'll catch up on EastEnders. <laughs> yeah, of course, yeah. <laughs> and you've got obviously things like Facebook. And yeah. Is there a good uh, Twitter application for the... Oh, yeah, brilliant. It's Gravity. Gravity, yeah, everyone yeah. everyone goes for Gravity. That's cool. I'm using it today like to tweet from the Regent Street store. So. Very good. So overall, you you impressed with the OS on the N97? I'm then? definitely impressed, and I'm sure they're... Once these doors open, they'll, be, they'll start shipping quite a few. That's good. We've got a bit of a queue that's uh, yeah. outside now, so let me show you guys a bit of a queue there, which is nice. Um, so that was Carl from the Nokia app, and um, I'll post a link on my blog as well, and uh, on this video, so if you guys want to check his site out, check what he's got there, uh, you're more than welcome to do that. Um, and that's um, M. Kwan over and out. Take care, guys.